Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today we're going to be <laughs> trying out uh, art challenges from TikTok to see what the differences are between being an art YouTuber and an art TikToker. Now this first one was pretty simple, basically you just put down blobs of watercolor and then you use those abstract shapes to inspire you to make different drawings inside of them. Um, this one's by Evergreen Queen on TikTok. Now her watercolors were a lot nicer than mine, um, either she's better at putting them down, she's using better paint or better paper, I don't know what the problem was but um, I still think I can work with these um, after literally just touching it with my hand to see if it was dry yet I started working on these little blobs now I started with this one because I feel like it's the one that's most plausible to be on YouTube as well. In fact, I actually think it might be a little bit more suited towards a YouTube video because I feel like people are willing to watch this for longer. And when I was watching her TikTok, I wanted to see the final product for longer, especially because she drew so nicely. Um, in my case, that might not be a problem um, because I really wasn't as happy with how these blobs turned out. Though I think that this is mainly used as a warm up exercise, um, so I guess I shouldn't be too hard on them. Um, I really liked just having something that I had to work with. Um, it actually kind of helps not having just that like blank page and so I feel like this could be a really good little challenge if you're art blocked or you're just feeling unmotivated just to like shake off the dust and get you drawing. Um, I feel like it could be really good for that. I decided before I started the video that every single part of this video I would put on my actual TikTok since I've had an account for a long time and been too shy to put up any videos. I kind of messed up because I was thinking about recording this for YouTube first and not about recording it for TikTok, so a lot of my footage is actually horizontal when it needs to be vertical. I'll see if I can fix that in post. So at the end of this challenge, my favorite drawings on this particular piece were the chubby little shark. Um, I think really, really cute shape on, on that shark, and I don't know if I would have pushed the uh, proportions quite that much if it weren't for that smudge in the background guiding my hand. Um, so in that way, I had at least one really successful drawing. I also like my three-eyed cat, though it drives me crazy that the, uh, the ear at the top is in completely the wrong place, but I was just following the blob, so uh, I take zero responsibility. <laughs> If I ever try this one again, I think I'm going to try to use the fancier tube watercolors rather than the pan ones. Um, but other than that sort of slightly muddy, murky watercolor, I actually kind of liked how this one turned out. I mean, none of the pieces are great on their own, but they're kind of fun to look at as a whole unit. On to the next one. Alright, challenge time. So we're going to fold this piece of paper in half. She's drawing the top half of something. All right, so she drew lines to show me where hers connects. Draw something to connect the line. And reveal. <laughs> This looked super fun. It reminded me of drawing games I used to play in like elementary school. So I had my sister come over and draw a mystery on the back and I had her do the same thing with the lines so that our drawings would connect properly. Um, I decided to just try my best. I initially wanted to draw something intentionally goofy, but instead I just sort of followed something that I feel like I would draw on a normal day, hoping that it would give us a more interesting result. So basically I just did the bottom of like a magical girl kind of thing. Thing. Um, I didn't put too much thought into the design, it's pretty basic. We decided beforehand that we wouldn't tell each other whether we were drawing the top or the bottom of the character, so it was possible that we would get two tops or two bottoms, but um, because of the way that she flipped over the paper, I had a pretty good idea of um, what part of the character she drew, so I just tried to earnestly add to it as best as I could. Here is the reaction we had when we flipped it over for the first time. Alright, so now we're going to see what we made. <laughs> Here's my half. Oh, look at him. Let's just pan back on that. <laughs> um, very long torso. <laughs> So needless to say, Jamie did not disappoint on her contribution. It's not like she never draws, but she definitely draws in a very different style and different stuff than I usually do, so I knew it wasn't going to match up perfectly, but man, I did not expect it to have such hilarious proportions when we were done. Honestly, I heartily recommend this challenge to any of you who are looking to do something fun. There's almost no way that you can end up with something normal at the end of it, and it's just hilarious. It was a super good time. Now on to the next one. Doom, a doom, a doom, doom, doom. 
ポンパドールの男子が好きです。大体こういう人はウケです。ワンワンワンワンワンワンドン。So, my first step was to try to draw a really terrible sketch perfectly synced up to this sound bite. Now, this was actually a lot harder than I expected.、Um, I even played it while I was drawing and I kept messing up parts or not having it be perfectly in time. So, I kept having to redo it. It took literally six tries. <laughs> Once I finally got a sketch that was perfectly synced to the sound, I had to create the grand reveal part where she goes like boom. At this point, I was torn because, in general, it seems like the meme goes as a、uh, change from the really crappy sketch to something really polished and nice. But the one that made me crack up the most was the dog one, where it was like you kind of commit to the, the awkward proportions of the sketch and you just render it out really nicely anyway.、Um, but I also thought that doing it really nicely and making it look really cute might also be fun. I really wasn't sure what way I was going to take it. So first First, I did kind of a super cutesy sketch,、um, and I just played around with that and tried to picture which one would be more exciting for me to actually see as a viewer. That's something I highly recommend if you're ever having trouble like, making a decision.、Um, just try to imagine that you're stumbling upon each version on your own and try to decide which one you'd remember. I decided to go with the、um, more. Uh, more honoring the sketch uh, version, um, let's just say.、Uh, so I'm keeping with her eyes and mouth the same way that it was, and then I'm going to nicely render out most other things、um, and try to go for more of a comedic effect rather than. Trying to make it look nice in general, especially because I know there's a lot of other drawing related challenges that are going to allow me to just draw nicely, so why not draw something goofy?、Um, that is one of the number one things I noticed about TikTok art community versus the YouTube art community is there's just a lot more emphasis on jokes and humor and intentionally ugly drawings, which I kind of love to be honest. Um, YouTube is very focused on, I would say,、uh, technically correct art. And while that is really good for some people,、um, I think that the ability of TikTok artists to really genuinely have fun with what they're doing is quite admirable. Not to say that everyone on TikTok is mostly focusing on memes or that people on YouTube who do art aren't having fun with it. You, you guys get what I mean. Now, having all the pieces of the TikTok that I need, all that was left was to put them together. If you want to see all my TikToks, this is my real TikTok page. A lot of people were worried that it was a fake one, so、um, I just put it at the end of the video so you know what it is.、Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much to my wonderful patrons, including Bella Story, c o m p o p o n Dope Elephant Art, Dr. Casket, a l a r y Elizabeth Album, g r o o v y Animator, Iara Formoso, Imagine Creation, Ivan Rodriguez, JJJ, Joseph Kofel, Justin, Carla Tapia, Katie Marigold, Cure Titter, Le Blah Blah Blah, Megan, Mike Adactyl, Mr. Dr. Pants, Noir Loom Artist, Nora Pernielsen, Okamore, Ollie, Rosie Warlock, Sergeant Pendulum, The Artsy Moose, Uboy ST, Zoe Stardust, and Maga.